Okay, so I've not pressed 100 kg for quite a while, to be honest. So I'm not sure how this is going to go down. Good morning guys, today is Monday, I had a rest day yesterday so I'm feeling pretty good but um, last week was some heavy training so I'm feeling pretty sore all over but the show must go on. Now today I'm going to be training at push, although Hamza has just thrown a curveball because he wants to train at one gym and I want to train another gym so i don't know whether we're going to be training together or not he's trying to get me to go there and i'm trying to get him to go to the gym that i want to train at so i don't know we might end up training on our own today i don't know uh, also in other news i got some castor oil now there's a lot of benefits to castor oil i've never tried it before you can google it but uh, essentially i i've got a knee injury so i did squats on saturday then afterwards, I just have this like dull pain underneath my kneecap. I think it's called runner's, runner's knee or jumper's knee. One, one or two of them. I, I did Google it before. Um, I'm sure there's probably some exercises that, that I could do, which I haven't done. I've been a bit lazy. I've just been trying to rest it, to be honest. But this is very anti-inflammatory and it's quite, it can be quite good for joints. So I'm just massaging some of this oil into my knee uh, and I'm gonna do that like, I don't know, three times a day and see if that helps my injury, hopefully, because I wanna get back to doing high rocks and doing some running as well. Also, I have got a new lens for my camera because when we filmed on Saturday with the camera, the footage was extremely shaky because there's no stabilization and also the cameraman was just using the camera for the first time, so, um, he's still learning, so we're trying to just, the goal right now is just to make each video better than the last one. So hopefully a new lens and get him, you know, train him up so he knows exactly what I'm looking for. And that's it. It's a hot one today, guys. Check the sky out. Beautiful day. Oh. Okay guys, so I usually start off all my push sessions with chest because I'm trying to prioritize my chest more than my shoulders. My shoulders seem to grow quite easily in comparison to my chest. And I feel like if you want to build an aesthetic physique, you don't want your shoulders too big because it makes your arms and your chest look smaller. So whenever I do train push, I only do a little bit of shoulders and I focus mainly on chest. So we're starting on chest and when it comes to pressing rarely do i do flat bench i usually always start off on an incline press either dumbbell or barbell but today we're starting with barbell and especially for the first exercise I always like to do a very light weight, like typically I'll always start with the bar, just to warm up the muscles and get used to the movement, sort of getting my muscles ready to perform their higher sets. Some people like to do a bit of cardio to warm up, but because I'm here in Bali, the temperature is so warm that I don't really need to spend a lot of time warming up. It's not like in England in winter, it would be so cold. You could see your breath through the, um, see your breath in the gym, it's that cold. But here, I don't have that problem. Okay, 60 kg. Mm. 
Oh, that feels nice. That's still, still count that as a warm-up set, to be honest. I'll probably put another 10 on each side, or maybe, maybe go straight to 100. Okay, so I've not pressed 100 kg for quite a while, to be honest, so I'm not sure how this is going to go down. God, I couldn't have got another rep then. Oof. Okay, nice first set. Okay, set two, 80 kg. So I had a few comments. The last time me and Hamza trained push, we were just we just went up to 60 kg on incline press. And there was a few people in the comments like saying, oh, you're so weak, is that all you lift? You've got to understand when you're training, what is your goal? Are you training for strength? Or are you training for hypertrophy? Because if you're training for hypertrophy, how you perform the exercise is more important because you're trying to get a full, full contraction, full range of motion. It's not about how much weight you lift. Now, I know these guys, they're just haters. They're just jealous losers, and that's why they write hate comments. But even still, a lot of people make the mistake that I used to make is thinking more weight equals more muscle growth. Now, if you're powerlifting or you're training for strength, then yeah, of course, you want to push the numbers and you really want to see how much weight you can lift. But if you're training for hypertrophy, what you want to do is prioritize how you're performing the exercise and the weight is just a tool. Like the weight is absolutely irrelevant. I really don't care about how much weight I'm lifting. My ego or my worth is not really attached to how much weight I'm lifting. So all you guys in the comments say, oh, is that how much, only how much weight you lift? You're so weak, blah, blah, blah. Like, I really don't care, guys. I'm not training for strength. The weight is literally just a tool. All right, set three, 70 kg. <clears throat> Yeah, three good sets. I think I'm done on that one. So this is only my third day training at this gym. And whenever I come to a new gym, I usually try and find the machines that I like because you're going to find, especially with machines, some of them will work better for your body than others because they're more fixed. So I don't always use all the machines in the gym. I just find the ones that I like the most. But I'm looking at this machine. Looks pretty good, but I don't know. I'm just going to give it a go now. Yeah, this is a good machine. Feels good. Mm. 
Okay, now that I've tested the machine out, it's time to add some weight. That feels good. Need more weight. Okay, so this is probably going to be the first working set. That feels good. Two more of them. Yeah, chest still needs some work. I need to work on this, the decline portion, to work on this bit here. I feel like I just need more depth as well. I feel like my chest sticks in a bit. I need more depth on the side. Okay, set two. Yeah, good. Okay, set three. Ah, a couple of partial reps at the end there. Sometimes what I like to do is once you've done all your full reps, if you just do a few partials at the end, you're allowed to work your muscle more. The reps are not gonna be perfect, but I find it's a good way to get closer to true failure. Yeah, I feel like I need a drink. So we're just gonna get a couple of coconuts. So they don't sell coconuts at the gym. So we gotta to go to the shop next door. Hello. Two, please. Get them making it. <laughs> Thank you. Two. Okay, that coconut lasted about five seconds. But a coconut mid-workout is the best. Especially a fresh coconut from the fridge, nice and cold. Okay, now it's time for some chest flies, some peg deck. So I've done incline press and then this machine press here. Now we're gonna do 
a fly exercise to really isolate the chest and get a nice stretch. Mm, okay, let's try. Try this machine. bad not a bad machine I feel like I need more of a stretch let's put it back a little bit more Sometimes on the pec deck machine, I just do this at the end and get a nice stretch. Like I'm not resting the weight down. I'm just letting the weight stretch my arms back and it feels really good across the chest. Might do a cheeky drop set just to get some more reps in. Oh. Okay, let's go. Mm. God. Oh. Okay, so that is three exercises for chest. Now I'm just gonna do lateral raises for shoulders. That's it for shoulders. Just one exercise. It's good enough for now. Set. Set two. Okay, what I like to do sometimes, near enough every day, is just hanging. Just hanging like I am now, like a dead hang. It's really good for your shoulders. It's great for your grip strength, your forearms, but it really helps stretch the body out. And you imagine if you're stood up all day or sitting down, it's a lot of compression on your spine. So when you hang like that, 
you're using gravity and the weight of your lower body to stretch your spine out. It just feels so good. I do it pretty much every single day. All right, set three. done on there okay so that is four exercises done three for chest one for delts now I'm just gonna do one final exercise for triceps because this has been quite of a heavy day and I do a separate arm day in the week I'm just gonna do one kind of light tricep exercise which is gonna be rope extension I feel like the stimulus to fatigue ratio and a rope extension it's not very fatiguing on your whole body but you can still get a nice contraction on the tricep. So, let's get a rope. Uh, so when you're doing this exercise if you have a mirror to either side of you so if you have a mirror here or you have a mirror here when you look in the mirror ideally you want the top half of your arm this bit is fixed and then you kind of want if you can imagine a line here you want it parallel with this so you just stand here bro come here so what I'm aiming for is to have this line and the line of the cable parallel with each other. Something like this. I find that works best for me anyway. Okay, set two. Good exercise. <laughs> What's your name, bro? Jefferson. Jefferson. Yes. James. Nice to meet you. Jefferson, that's a very posh name. Okay, set three, final set. Ah, oh, done. 45, 50 minute workout, five exercises. That's it. You definitely don't need to be in the gym any longer than an hour. If you're in the gym longer than an hour, it's suboptimal in my opinion. I've just put castor oil on my nose, so that's why it might look a little bit shiny, but I'm just trying to heal the sunburn. So that was a pretty good session, at least for me anyway. I don't know uh, if it's still enjoyable for you guys or if it's maybe a little bit boring because I'm training on my own. Uh, I haven't watched the footage back yet, but I'll watch it back, see what it's like. Uh, and if it's just boring on my own, then we'll just make sure we're training with other people as much as possible. Now it's time for my first meal. The time is, wow, it's nearly 3 p.m. I haven't eaten yet. All I've had is that coconut and I had some coconut water in the morning. So first meal, are you ready? Chicken breast. <laughs>
That's it, that's the meal. 500 grams of chicken breast. I've got um, Cajun spices on here, and then a little bit of Tabasco chipotle. This sauce is so good, amazing. So a bit of this, obviously a bit of sea salt, and that's it, this is my lunch. Uh, obviously, usually I would eat a lot more, um, but I'm just doing a mini cut at the moment. So I'm probably gonna run the rest of this week just eating just chicken breast for my first meal. And then maybe have like a steak for dinner or something like that. And just gonna do this for maybe two to three weeks and I should be in pretty good shape. I'm looking pretty lean, but I'm just gonna take it week by week. I don't really like to think too far ahead. I just decide what I'm gonna eat for the week pretty much. And most of those days, I'll just stick to that. Thank you.